Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to the Lapos Social Hub. Um, I share videos. I live in Lorange and I share videos about job, you know, job interviews, social work practice, education, preparing for practicum and migration and mental health and probably more in the future. Who knows, right? Um, so uh, you know, I just want to say thank a huge, a huge, huge, huge thank you to my viewers. You thank you to my subscribers. Like you have, you guys have all been amazing. Um, and you know, I was opportune to meet a lot of you. Some of you, not a lot of you. Some of you this last weekend through Zoom, about four people. And uh, and I can see that I can see that drive. Your plan, your goals is amazing. And I encourage you guys to pursue your goal and not this stay stagnant. Um, so it, it's really nice to hear you guys stories and your plan for the future. Yeah, so uh, for my new subscribers, I'm going to introduce reintroduce myself. So my name is Dolapo, Adi Dolapo Elizabeth Degede, married, and I, you know, we are currently living in the Ronge. That is where um, I am practicing. Um, I have a bachelor's of social work and I have a master's master's in social work and I am currently working in the Laronge. I'm working at Laronge Hospital as a mental health social worker there, uh, providing services for adults, for children, for youth. Um, uh, yeah, and also sometimes I do mental health consultation at the Harrow CMP uh, and um, emergency department and active care and uh, long-term care facility. So yeah, so that's a lot, yeah, briefly what I do in 60 seconds. Um, yeah, so that is me in a nutshell. For today's video, I'm just going to be talking about things that I was like, you know, I was talking with somebody yesterday and I was like, this is actually an important thing to talk about um, because, you know, you know, uh, I feel like people, especially today being Monday, I feel like people need that, um, you know, that encouragement. So uh, I'm going to, you know, like, are you just, are you looking for a job? Like, are you at home? You just finished school and you are looking for a job? Or are you currently working and you are looking to switch to another role, another job? I just want to tell you and encourage you that, you know, you will get that job. If it is yours, you will get that job. Sometimes when you just finish school and you don't really have a job, your a job at all, that one can be tougher compared to let's say you already have a job and you're just trying to change to another job for better income. Um compared to yeah, so that one can be like, you know, like well, I have a job, but then I'm looking for another job compared to somebody that is jobless, right? So those are two different things. So I'm just gonna share the purpose of the video today is just to share, you know, uh, you know, ways that you can encourage people who are struggling to find a job because it is not easy when you. So when you know you, when you know somebody that is struggling to find a job, you can help. You can help them by offering support in different ways, in many ways actually. Um, some people just need people to listen to them. Just people, people want. So other people want people to other people, their loved ones or their friends to share resources with them. Um, some people may, may need like uh, interviews, interview like uh, skills uh, and stuff like that. So for today, I'm gonna share a couple um, ways of how you can encourage people who are looking for job. Either they don't have a job at all, they are jobless, or they already have a job and they are, they are trying to look for a better job or a job of their dream, right? Yeah, so um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is you can help them to, you can you can suggest job if they ask. If you are asked, you can suggest job, right? Um, so if someone, if you know somebody is looking for a job and you, you know, like, you know, you have like a, you saw like job posts say at your workplace, you can suggest for them that uh, this is an online job. So I don't know if you're going to be interested. You can send them the link and stuff like that. And of course, make sure you back it up with encouraging words. And um, we should try to be careful of the words that we use when we are talking to job seekers, right? Uh, the second one is uh, you can help them or you can encourage them 
to create professional portfolio uh, online. Uh, for example, LinkedIn, let, telling them about LinkedIn for them to market themselves and their skills and their experience. Um, you can help them with their resume. You can help them to preview their resume and cover letter. Um, they, you can tell them that they can open an account with um, Indeed, and those kind of on, online profile that help increases the chance of somebody to get a job. So you can let them know about that. Um, you know, and you can seek out, you can tell them to seek a career coach. I myself have helped a lot of people when it comes to coaching for career. So I have helped a lot of people when it comes to talking about career and switching switching to from one job to the other or some people just they don't like they just feel like they are unhappy in their current role you know I listen to them and tell them you know what you are not a tree you know I always tell I always tell people that when you're working in a place where you are not happy and people are telling you that you know it is it is you can tell them that they can you know you know they can move they are not a tree but at the same time you need to let them know that this is the Pro and this is the con. You know, you need to make sure you get one job first before you quit where you are not happy with, and things like that. Really, you have to be, you know, you have to think critically when it comes to advising somebody when it comes to you. And I want to leave one job and go to the other. Um, so you can ask them to list the ideal job they want. Right? What is the ideal job they want? Are they, you know, are they comfortable? Stepping out or outside of their comfort zone. For example, now if 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 you know when when I talk to new immigrants who just moved to Canada and they're talking about job, like they want to be a director, like mm, they just got there, they want to be a director. I you know like I would tell them keep that dream of becoming a director. At the same time, you really have to be comfortable with starting and taking new challenges that will get you to where you want to be, right? So those kind of those kind of things. So let them get them to list the ideal job. Tell them to uh, list, you know, the other jobs that is not ideal that they are able to do and apply for and stuff like that. Um, so the 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 second one I'm going to talk about is, you know, talking about school, like maybe like you know, updating, you know, you know, uh, updating their credentials, like you know, maybe going back to school for certificate program or um, or a master's degree for them to increase that chance of getting that ideal job that they wanted, right? So you can have a conversation about going back to school. You can have a conversation about doing like a specific training, uh, maybe like CPR first aid or um, applied suicide intervention course, or maybe you know like those kind of additional training that can you can add to your resume that can help you to get job offer quicker. Yeah, you can also offer advice about job, right? Like job, like job trends. You know, for example, you can tell them that oh, you know, are you comfortable moving from Saskatoon? Are you comfortable moving out of the city to maybe like the north? This is the job here. There's a lot of job offer here, but you have to be, you know, are you open to moving? So having that kind of conversation, giving them advice about job trend that is available in their area and the skills that they have or that they don't have, and they, they can get that skills for them to be, you know, because, you know, if you're looking for a job, you need to make sure that you also have the skills, right? That matches that job. So sometimes, you know, if you don't have that skills, go and get that skills. Go and get that CPR. Go and get that um, first aid. Go and get that um, babysitting course. Go and get that food safety course. Those kind of things, right? Make sure you get them so that you are now marketable for jobs. So you can offer to research companies. You can offer to apply of them to apply and see them with applying. You can offer to you know, I have provided my resume and cover letter to a lot of people to see, to compare it to their own, right? Um, you know, you have to make your resume, your resume, your cover letter, it is, it, you have to, it is used to, you have to make sure you package yourself. You know, some people have a lot of skills and it is missing in their resume. They have a lot of communication skills. They have a lot of training. 
and those training is missing in your cover letter. It's missing in your resume. So how can you be looking for a job and you have a degree, you have two degrees, you have a certificate, and your resume is only one page, and your cover letter is only 150 words? You know, you have to market yourself, you know. Um, you can also let your, you can also let job seeker know that they can work temporary job, that they should be open. Like, you know, when we talk about that flexibility, even though that you are not getting a job in your area, like you're not getting a job in the area that you studied, right? Um, you should be comfortable, you should be flexible to take on any role to, have, to avoid you, to prevent you from just sitting at home. You are not gonna get any skill from sitting at home. You're gonna just be sad and yet there's no income coming in. You are just paying expenses, right? So, you know, you have to make sure that, you know, you know, even though you are not getting a temporary, you are not getting a permanent offer yet, you can always start with the temporary jobs. And sometimes most temporary position can even um, extend your, your job for you. Um, and it's not the end of the world, you know, like getting outside of that your house to get to get job and to, to get money in is better than no job at home. Uh, make sure you attend like a career fair, career or hiring event that is being offered by maybe like the employment agency or that is being uh, offered at the school, uh, University of Saskatchewan or Saskatchewan Polytechnic or any kind of college, they often organize like a career fair. So make sure that you attend those events. Uh, listen to job search pod, pod, podcasts, um, you know, resume support, um, cover letter support, interviewing, interviewing skills and practice, those those kind of things, um, uh, you know, helping them with um, helping them with references is another thing. When you know that there's a job seeker looking for a job and they need the references, make sure that you're available to do, you know, adequate reference for them. You know, don't bring them down through that reference. It's not good. I have had a lot of stories of, you know. Um, People who, you know, they, you know, and of course, as a job seeker, you need to let your references know that you're using them as reference. You can't just give their information, email and contact information, and then they are not prepared to be a reference for you. And yeah, so, um, you know, is there any other thing that I've missed, um, you know, how to so support job seeker that I have not talked about? I want you to add it in the comment below. Let, let us have a chat. Let us have a chat on, on how, when we're looking for a job, how did you navigate the process? Who was your support person? You know, what was helpful for you and what wasn't that helpful for you? I want you to share below. Um, there's a lot of ways you can support people looking for jobs. It's just like, I just make it really small because I don't want my video to be more than 15 minutes. Make sure that you are not judging job seeker. Make sure that the attitude that we are giving to them that oh, they are lazy, you know, they just don't want to work. Make sure that we are, we, we need to make sure that we are careful in, the, in, in terms of the words that we use when it comes to job seeker. And uh, we should try to be compassionate and we should try to empathize with them because looking for a job for months, some people may be looking for a job for several months and, and they are not they are not finding it, right? So I guess having to deal with our behavior or our, our speech or our reaction, it's, it's not gonna help, right? So we should try to encourage them to see a positive. And I'm just gonna end on this note. You know, if you are looking for a job and uh, you know, you know, if it is your job, it is your job, you will get it. If it's not yours, it's not yours, right? So, um, and when you don't get that job, keep trying, keep applying, keep applying for that job because you need to know that, you know, every job that you apply for, you are not going to be the only one applying for it, right? And there's no way an employer is going to come to your doorstep and knock, go, go, go. We hired you, you know, we hired you, it's your job, right? You need to apply, you need to do your, 
due diligence, right? So yeah, so that's gonna be the end of my video. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Again, subscribe, like, share, put the notification button on so that you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. So yeah, um, until next time, yeah, talk to you guys soon. Thanks, bye-bye.